on the air and working for you. 23 News. Xavier Whitford lost her son about four years ago and believes the only way suicide can be prevented is by talking about it. She says the rates will continue to rise until everyone has access to much needed resources. Yes, Micah Chin, and I am here at the Sickle Gas Station off of 11th Street here in Rockford. Right now, what we do know is that the man who was the 30 year old victim who was stabbed in the neck, he did arrive at the hospital and police are saying he does have potentially life threatening injuries. I I spoke with the assistant manager of the Domino's on North Main Street, where last week a driver was hit and robbed. The store is taking some new precautions to ensure their drivers stay safe. According to Jewish leaders, there are around 600 Jewish people in the city. And after this morning's shooting, many were concerned that this might impact those living in our area. Yes, Mike and Shannon, I'm here outside of the Grant North Hall here on the Northern Illinois University's campus, where 18-year-old Abdul Dawin stabbed a man who has now been treated and is now in stable conditions. The Red X program started about four years ago as a way of saving the lives of firefighters. When a Red X is posted on a house, it means that it is vacant and has structural damage. Hundreds of people from all different cultures and all different religions attended today's vigil, proving that this act of hatred did not only affect the Jewish community, but it affected all different groups. Just before five, a shed fully engulfed, and as you can see behind me, there's about 30 different firefighters working to still continue putting out this fire. They say that they plan on being here for quite a while. The woman who lives in the house said she saw it from her window. No one has been injured in this fire. Reporting live in Belvedere, I'm Brittany Carlin. Rich also tells me that the Rockford police were very polite and kind throughout this entire process and that he is glad to know the airport is doing all it can to keep those flying out of Rockford safe. Police tell me switching from sedans to SUVs allows police the ability to get their jobs done in a timely manner, even during a snowstorm like we saw on Sunday. Police say that as the holidays get closer, the malls, parking lots get more crowded. So the Illinois Secretary of State is sending his officers to shopping malls around the state to make sure people are not abusing the handicapped spaces. This is definitely a really tough weekend for us. Monday will mark exactly one year since the death of Rockford police officer Jamie Cox, who died following a traffic stop off of East State Street and Don Avenue. It just didn't seem real. It's a night that we will all never forget the details of. Over the past year, Jamie's cousin Andrea says the community has been nothing but supportive, participating in the Jamie Cox 5K, a motorcycle ride honoring him, and putting up blue lights on their porches as a way of keeping Jamie's memories alive. Jamie's loss affected, you know, complete strangers. Um, it affected people very deeply. Um, and so I think those blue lights are a reminder for everybody to kind of take a minute and remember. We have to have our officers out there. It's the only thing that keeps our community in order. Andrea believes the tragedy created a bond between the Rockford community and its law enforcement. She hopes that will continue. Our officers are going to do a better job if they feel supported. And I can tell you that multiple officers after Jamie's funeral said we didn't realize the amount of support we had within our community until this. Some members of the Cox family are coming together Monday to honor Jamie in a more permanent way. We've been wanting to get some tattoos in honor of him, so I think a couple of us are going to go do that tomorrow. Even though a year seems like a long time, Andrea says the impact of Jamie's loss is something she'll never forget. My personal goal in this is to kind of bring awareness to what is going on in the world of law enforcement because before this happened, um, we heard about it, we knew, but we didn't really fully understand it. And now, you know, every time we hear about an officer down, it hits in a completely different way than it hit before. In Rockford, Brittany Carlin, 23 News. So it bothered me. It made me angry. Sherry Dreyfus, the president of the Rockford Jewish Federation, couldn't believe someone would enter into a synagogue and her people in their place of worship during a special Saturday service. I've been through uh, baby namings that this is family, this is friends, that they're all there for a very loving and joyous occasion. Eleven people died during the shooting at a synagogue in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania Saturday morning. And CBS News reports that the shooter was shouting all Jews must die, 
Rockford Rabbi Bina Wing assures the people she is doing everything she can to keep the Jewish community safe. We try and be pretty careful anyway. We have a pretty advanced security system and um, we're just going to ramp it up a little bit for uh, for tomorrow and um, just try and reassure, reassure our folks that you know, it's safe to come here. Temple Beth L, the Rockford Synagogue, will continue as normal, having Sunday school and services. And Dreyfus feels the support from Rockford will help the Jewish community conquer this difficult time. There's a feeling that there's a lot of support in our community. Uh, there's good and there's bad, but there's really, really a lot of good for our, from our neighbors, from our uh, different religious uh, affiliations in the community. Rabbi Wing encourages the Jewish community to continue supporting their beliefs and values. By doing that, we we say we can't. You can't make us run away. You can't make us afraid. And so that's what we try and do. In Rockford, Brittany Carlin, 23 News.